people. Come on, let's lay down. Let's lay down. Come here, let me take your jacket off. Ready? Here. Lay down, you want your blanket? Here. Want your blanket, mommy? Go downstairs. Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Vlog Mess. Talking really low, obviously, because Ann just went to sleep. We were actually on our way out. Me, her, and Anthony, we were gonna um, take her out to the um, aquarium in our neighborhood. This is like an aquatic store, um, so she could see the fish and stuff. We've been really trying to figure out ways to keep her entertained, you know, show her things teach her things, you know, given the fact that everything's closed and all these restrictions on what we can do. And I just feel like these kids are really, really suffering in this pandemic. Nothing open for them to really enjoy life and all that, and these kids do not understand. So we were just gonna take her to the aquatic store so she could just see the fish and kind of like a makeshift going to the shed aquarium type of thing. But she ended up getting tired and going to sleep. So we're probably gonna just postpone it for another day or if her nap is quick and she ends up waking up soon, we can still probably go, but I don't know because I know they close early today, so we probably won't be able to go. I know she was tired. She had a really early morning. Okay, see ya. Uh, you ready, baby? What? I said, be careful out there. I will. Oh, you look so cute. Let me see your little sweater. That's a nice sweater. Thank you. What's up, y'all? <laughs> hey, I decided to run some errands right quick. UPS to ship out the Christmas gifts that I bought and to make an Amazon return. Minus whale. Okay, it's kind of cold today. My little skeletons over there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back from Walmart. I'm gonna be making this for dinner. It's hot. Y'all, this looks so good with the salad. So I'm gonna use this authentic Indian spice blend. I use so much of these. Let me show you guys the other one that I have. This is the other one. Probably gonna have this sometime next week as well. I love having these little seasoning packs. It's such a shortcut. And look at this one. Such a shortcut. 
get a meal cooked quick and honestly both of those are vegan but you know what you can add meat like you know what I mean so you can do whatever you want you know what I'm saying like even with me like I'm, I told you I'm not vegan I'm not strictly plant-based anymore but I will still eat whatever I want so like you might see me most of the week eating vegan you know meals but I'm not vegan it's just funny because a person can say like they're not vegan anymore and then they'll get caught eating a salad and somebody will be like I thought you weren't vegan anymore you're like the vegans don't own this food group, okay? <laughs> and I got Anne these cute french fry house shoes. I can't wait to see her wearing these. She loves french fries, so they're so appropriate. Okay, so I'm about to start on dinner. Y'all see my cute little sweater? I got this yesterday from Costco. So cute. Well, mostly comfy. See, it comes down kind of long. Okay, let's get this party started. I think we're gonna do some uh, chicken thighs with this. <laughs> The recipe says I need to have oil, vinegar, salt, yogurt. We don't have any yogurt, but I'm gonna use sour cream because I think that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, do we have vinegar? Yes, we have a little bit of vinegar. And I'm gonna start cooking the basmati rice as well. And then just a salad, just a salad on the side. And that'll be it. I'm mad we don't have any cilantro or any fresh herbs to go with this, but hopefully this seasoning pack gives us everything we need in the flavor department. I'm about to make Anthony um, an appetizer plate. You know, he wants a little prosciutto and some cheese, so I'm gonna use this little balanced break Sargento pack. A newer one that I bought, you guys, the ones that I had in my pantry, that was a complete mistake. I had these little packs from when we went camping, and I don't know how they ended up in the pantry. Honestly, I wasn't even thinking about them, wasn't eating them, wasn't doing anything with them, and then some of you guys called it out when you saw me cleaning out the pantry, so I did end up throwing those in the garbage, and I did go back to Walmart and got some more, so yeah, Anthony's gonna eat one right now. Why am I utilizing this little small space here? I need to move over here. Let me get all my stuff and put it over here. What am I doing? Let's call that one, two, and three. Come on, sour cream. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this. Why does it smell like a hard boiled egg? Little sea salt. All right, I'm gonna put the chicken on the pan here. I'm gonna score it so that the seasoning can really get in there. And I think for best results, this is supposed to marinate for a bit, but we don't have that kind of time. So let me rinse this chicken and I'll be right back. Now we're gonna go ahead and just score it a little bit. Spread this on the top. This is very acidic. Like it's um, it's impacting the meat on contact. I guess it was the vinegar and whatever spices they have on here. So I can tell this is some kind of speed marinade. So I think we'll be okay putting it directly in the oven. But for best results, definitely let it marinate. All right, this was the perfect amount. You guys, my husband loves thighs. That's his favorite part of the chicken. He don't care about no breasts, none of that. He likes the thighs and the legs. Those are his favorite parts, the dark meat, you know. Never really been a big chicken fan myself. We'll see, but yeah, I've never really been into chicken. Like never. Okay, I gave Ann little samples of everything we're having. Minus the spicy chicken, and then some of her favorites. Trying to see if she'll eat the rice and the salad. She woke up really grumpy, so we got the iPad to try and get her to be in a better mood. Watching a little Akili, she loves this one. You guys, these are Caesar salads from Walmart, like the little mix, the bag mix. So freaking good, it's got like quinoa in there, and all that is so good. I like the texture. What do you think of the tandoori chicken? <laughs> the makeshift tandoori chicken? It's all right. Mm -hmm. Wasn't the chicken real tender and juicy because of the thigh part? Yes. Love it. I was thinking like if it was breast, it would have been kind of dry. Lay down. 
Time for land. Like, I need to stretch my legs. And Ann is not interested in the little samplets that I gave her. She's only eating the pizza. You want some more drink? I'm gonna get you some water, okay? You go, sweet girl. Hey, Sansa. You went for a walk? You went for a walk, girl? You went for a walk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds to be snoring and be wide awake. Hey, that's how I do things. That's how I do them. Let me see your belly, Sansa. Let me see that belly. We actually saw some of the um, puppies poking out earlier. I feel like that's one of them right there. We saw it. We saw it earlier, Sansa. We saw it. We haven't seen anything moving at all, but. Sit in Ann's little chair real quick. It's the perfect height to um to get some attention from Sansa, you know? It's the perfect height. Oh, you laying on my stomach? Oh, you laying on my stomach? You wanna say hi? Say hi to the people. I'm getting in the shower after this, don't worry. We are taking her tomorrow, you guys. I am so excited. We're taking her to the vet tomorrow to get um, an ultrasound. Really, it's more like an x-ray. Ah, don't come up here. Don't come up here. Get down. Don't climb up here. You're gonna, we're going to both fall. <laughs> um, oh, she wants to lay. Come on, let's lay. Sansa, place. It's better there anyway, Sansa. It, it's, uh, it's better here. I'll sit close to you. Don't worry. So lovable. They just be wanting to be all up on you. They be wanting to sit on your lap. It's like, girl, you are 125 pounds. You weigh almost the same as me. Um, but anyway, yeah, so tomorrow we're taking her to the vet to get some x-rays so we can see how many pups she's gonna have. Really excited to know. I'll definitely vlog. I don't think we'll be able to go inside the clinic though because of the pandemic and everything. I think they're gonna maybe have Anthony go in and then we have to weigh outside and then they'll let us know. But um, the cool part about it is if we're able to see the imaging. Yeah, see? If we're able to see the imaging, that's that'll be really fun. Right, Sansa? We can just see. We're just we're so curious. We're just curious, you guys. This is not like um normal stuff. Like usually people just find out how many pups they're having when they're giving birth. But I think um we're just extremely curious. And I have all of you guys, and I'm sure you would like to know as well. So it works out. Um and then I think it'll also help us as first time gramps to some pups and knowing like when she's done giving birth we'll like know for sure she's finished because we'll know how many pups are going to be coming out of there um so it'll help us out as just like first timers i was looking at a photo of her when we first got her she was so small compared when we first took her to that first training session she was so tiny and i remember i was on there being like oh she's so big now she's 40 pounds <laughs> We'll know more tomorrow. We'll know more about how far along she is and all that stuff once they can see inside. But like, look how big her her body is right here. It's so much wider than usual. You know, we just we're we're so curious as to how many are in there. That's the only thing. <laughs> okay, you guys. I think we're gonna wrap this vlog up here and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I can't wait till tomorrow's vlog so I can share what's going on with Sansa. That's gonna be fun. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.